Good afternoon. My name is Emmett Gill and welcome to Diverse Issues in Higher Education. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the PhD completion project recently released by the Council of Graduate Schools. In this report, we learned that international, white, and male PhD candidates complete their degrees at a faster rate than domestic, minority, and female PhD candidates. Not a lot new there. However, when we look at the statistics across race and ethnicity, we learn that over a 10 year period, 55% of white Americans complete their PhD requirements, 51% of Hispanic Americans, 50% of Asian Americans, and last but not least, 47% of African Americans complete their PhD requirements within a 10 year period. So I decided to talk to you today about how a doctoral program can help minority candidates be more successful in terms of degree completion. And I'm simply basing these three points on my own personal experiences. The first point is that prior to accepting an opportunity to complete your terminal degree, I think that it's imperative that minority candidates visit the schools that they desire to attend, that they have an opportunity to meet with the faculty that they desire to work with, and that schools make an effort to reach out to these candidates to make sure that they understand the type of faculty that they'll interact with, the type of students that they may teach through their student teaching, and the type of individuals that they may have on their dissertation committee. Secondly, I believe the doctoral programs need to be a little bit more open in terms of the subject matter that they allow minority candidates to explore in their dissertation studies. You know, in my particular case, I wanted to study the intersection between society and intercollegiate athletics. And I can only imagine going to some doctoral programs and having a conversation with the doctoral director and saying that, you know, I like to study college athletics. I can only imagine their response. But for the directors of doctoral programs who are out there and who want to track and retain minority candidates, I think it's imperative that you understand that these candidates bring a certain amount of practice wisdom to your program. And some of the issues that they have a desire to explore are cutting edge issues and we need to give them the latitude for the sake of our profession, as well as their completion rates. We need to give them the opportunity to look at those topics. Lastly, I think that as a whole, the field needs to be more accepting of qualitative research. When we think about qualitative research, thoughts, feelings, and attitudes, this is aligned with a lot of the learning styles and intelligences that are related to minority doctoral candidates. You know, oftentimes we belittle the validity and the reliability of qualitative research. Yet, with many of the topics that minority candidates would like to explore, qualitative research, or at least a little bit of qualitative research, can do a candidate good. These are the three things that I think will lead to more minorities, in particular African Americans, male or female. These are the three issues that I, will, I believe will lead to higher completion rates for our minority candidates when it comes to PhD programs. Nonetheless, I applaud the PhD completion project as well as the Council of Graduate Schools in undertaking this very important study. This is Emmett Gill for diverse issues in higher education. Until next time, Boris Diaz.